hope I can come see. 3.1 FM, 1530 AM. This report is sponsored by PreventWildfireCA.org. Why fight fire with fire? Here in California, we're proactive. Prescribed fire helps prevent larger wildfires, keeping our forests healthier and communities safer. Learn more at PreventWildfireCA.org. As we move into 2024 with both candidates seeking a second term, we got a lot of angles we got to cover here. Every second counts, and we'll hit them all. John Hannity, weekdays at noon on Talk 650 KSE, broadcasting from the Big Mountain Heating and Air Studios. Neo-Marxism. 
we need to make them little revolutionaries. You remember that uh, teacher in the Sacramento, California area talking about, I've got nine months to turn them into revolutionaries. They, 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 these people aren't making this up on their own. This is the core of what they're trying to do as, uh, you know, instructed by their ideological uh, trainers. Can't there be... I realize this has not worked in the past. Yeah, the past, all that sort of no child left behind stuff. Can there be some sort of, like, number one, like primary purpose for kindergarten or eighth grade, fifth grade, grade, grade all, all of elementary schools early? Primary purpose. You have to have 85% of your students at reading and math proficiency or we're closing you down. I would love something like that. It's difficult to implement in the real world. Of course, I don't see how teaching to the test would go wrong there if all you taught was reading and math to the exclusion of all other else. I think it would still be a win at this point. Yeah, you know, you read my mind because I was thinking, uh, as you have often stated, that once a uh, measure becomes a standard, it ceases to be useful as a measure, which is uh, uh, Goodhart's Law. Goodhart's Law, yeah. yeah. One um, of the best things I've ever learned. Right. So it's difficult to start at the result, but if you were to say, look, we don't have time to teach about the gender-bred person, or hey, seven-year-old, you might be queer. Are you queer? If you say you're queer, I'll really celebrate you, and you'll be the special person of the day, small child. So are you queer? I guess so, yes. Yeah, how about you not spend a single second on that crap? Teach the kids to read, to write, to recognize shapes, or at least, you know, letters and numbers and that sort of thing in kindergarten. Um, and and uh, what sound the sea makes, that sort of thing. There's no time for white supremacy in kindergarten. Of course, Chairman Mao wasn't particularly concerned about the reading scores either during the Cultural Revolution and the, and the what was it, the Great Awakening or whatever the hell it was, um, the Great Leap Forward. Uh, he was concerned in solidifying party unit, uh, party uh, loyalty. And that's what this stuff is. I'm not a paranoid lunatic. Trust me when I say this is neo-Marxism. It's trying to tear down the system and take it over, masquerading as six or eight different things. God, that's just a crime if you're a parent and your kid's in that school and you're, you know, you're hoping that they can get the basics to have a shot at going out into the world and having a decent life. And then this crap is being pushed down their throat. And if it were only lacking the instruction in the things they really need, that would be tragic enough. But it, what's being shoved into their poor little eyes instead is this doctrine of you don't have a chance. You've never had a chance because of white people. Just give up. Don't strive. Don't try. Don't dream. Do not dream because you're defeated. Could, could, as I've said many times, and I'll stand by these words, the Klan wasn't one one hundredth as effective as the woke type in discouraging young black kids. Hey, Hanson, do we have that clip that I uh, wanted of the college kids who can't answer what's four times 15? Oh, yeah. Is that real? Has anybody figured out if that is real or not? But regardless, I mean, so this is a problem from K through college, apparently. That's just very frustrating. Uh, do, do we have that? How do we not have that? All right. Hey, well, I I suspect, uh, and and I'm seeing more and more examples of this. People will wake up to it, um, because the results of the progressive policies are just undeniably awful. And in the case of say crime in city A or B, um, it'll take a while to turn around. Some things will move more quickly than others. In education, we have a serious serious problem because we have generations of kids now that have been, you know, miseducated in, in all the woke stuff and brutally undereducated in, in the basics. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be less like turning around a, 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 a cruise ship and more like stopping a huge freight train and slowing it down and then turning it around. But filling in the filling in the Grand Canyon. Um $250,000 is a lot of money for kindergarten. I don't know how many total kids there were, but you could buy a lot of uh, paraeducators or tutors or whatever. 
specifically targeting a map and reading and helping an awful lot of kids. And not do all the harm you're just talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, am reminded that the, uh, again, this is all about Cal Unicornia, but I caution you. If you live in the reddest state, there is a blueberry not far from you, politically. It's your public school. Now, some places are worse than others, but your school district, your school board, trust me when I say, guaranteed to be bluer, and your teachers, maybe, your your administrators with their PhDs from teachers' colleges, bright blue in a lot of cases. Uh, so this stuff is coming your way, but in Cal Unicornia, within a couple of years, ethnic studies is going to be required to graduate, and the ethnic studies curriculum, the basics of it, are already out, and it is full-on DEI, neo-Marxism stuff. Tear down the system uh, and, 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 and rebuild it with uh, super progressive. So this you kids are going to be indoctrinated in this stuff while you're at work. This, uh, I've seen the video, it's four college kids on a college campus, Kennesaw State University, I don't know where that is, but uh, they just stopped for uh, young-looking college kids and uh, asking this. What is 15th High School? Oh, my God. Oh,
drive time on West 50, 34 minutes from Folsom to downtown Sacramento. West Cap City, 16 minutes from the split to downtown. Traffic every 10 minutes, mornings and afternoons on KSBK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. This report is sponsored by KitchenMart.com. Take your kitchen from tired to inspired with custom cabinet refacing from Kitchen Mart. Save 15% now on cabinetry refacing and fall in love with your kitchen or bath. See before and afters and schedule your free in-home consultation today at KitchenMart.com. Paid for by government.com. Did you hear? A recent stash of $10 Gold Liberty coins from the 1800s has been found. These gorgeous gold coins are as bright and shiny as the day they were struck in the late 1800s. And less than 50 of these gold coins are available. Coin experts are calling this gold find an incredible opportunity. Call 1-800-495-6468 and you are guaranteed a $10 Gold Liberty coin minted by the U.S. Mint in the 1800s. But with extremely limited availability, you must call now. These Gold Liberty coins from the 1800s are still in uncirculated condition. That is history you can hold in your hand. To learn more, call 1-800-495-6468. Call now and you'll receive a free American Coin Collector's Bonus Package. A $40 value, free with every order. Call 1-800-495-6468 now to secure your $10 Gold Liberty Coins dated from the 1800s before they sell out. That's 1-800-495-6468. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language. Like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. And they're designed by real language teachers, so you learn how to have a real-world conversation, things you'll actually use. It's incredible. After using Babbel, I'm ready to start having real conversations in French. There's all kinds of ways to learn. Use Babbel's podcasts or games or videos. You can even join live classes with a language teacher. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than... Babbel. 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 Evidemment. Babbel. Language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Start learning a language today at Babbel.com. <laughs> This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. Normally when a team experiences seven consecutive non-winning seasons, the team will look for a veteran football mind to right the ship. But with new ownership now in Washington, the commanders decided to do things differently, hiring former Golden State Warriors GM Bob Myers. There is no one way to win in professional sports. We need to give this group time before we start to criticize their decision-making process. I'm Dan Patrick, the superbly versatile all-electric e EQB from Mercedes-Benz. It's impressively techy and surprisingly roomy with available seating for up to seven. The vehicle is all electric. The feeling is all Mercedes. Learn more at mbusa.com slash EQB. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Have you ever thought you're just not a math person? With students more than half a grade level behind because of COVID, it's not too late to get involved and be part of the equation. Get your child on track with math at bepartoftheequation.org. Don't the Democrats always excoriate the rich that don't pay their fair share? With high standards Slip to double standards. I thought they hated people that cheat on their taxes. Sean Hannity. Weekdays at noon on Talk 650 KSTE. Talk 650 KSTE. And I wanted want to, to use it? I felt the thing uh, start to move, and I was so freaking scared, you know? I started shouting, hey, hey! It just kept on moving, and it fell to the side. I uh, fell on my back, and he said, yeah, I think it was a couple of teenagers. It may sound funny when you're a kid. It's not, if you're the guy inside. It's not funny at all. It's, it's something that could have ended in a very unfunny way. Huh? That is a man who was in a porta potty when some teen delinquents tipped it over. Now, my uh, I've used a lot of porta potties in my life. Uh, the m mess that it would make that would include me and my clothing is what would concern me more than any sort of like getting hurt. 
The modern porta potty, if tipped on its side.